to everyone who has been helping us in planning this event, um, everyone who's donated so far, um, and of course, the incredibly talented people that are all on deck to blow you all away. Um, when we kind of came up with Breathe, we really just wanted to create a space of healing and solidarity and of course, uh, raising awareness against police brutality and racism. Uh, Matilda and I have truly been overwhelmed with all of the support and the enthusiasm, uh, and of course the donations that we've received. So uh, it's just been incredibly unreal. Uh, but before we can kick things off with the show, Matilda and I just wanted to tell everyone a bit more about ourselves uh, and how we kind of came to be. So uh, with that, I'll pass it off to Matilda to, to introduce herself. Um, this is a weird experience, but cool at the same time. Um, so for those that may not know me, uh, my name is Mathilde, um, I'm French and I live in the UK, although not right now as I speak uh, due to the whole lockdown thing. Um, but I've always proudly called myself a snowflake slash social justice warrior. And I think anyone who's ever had to suffer a discussion with me on sexism or racism any other kind of injustice can attest to that. Um, I've worked with Whitney in London for a wonderful nine months. Um, I couldn't think of a better partner in crime um, to reach out to when the idea came to me to organise a fundraiser to help fight racism globally. Aw, thanks, Matilde. Uh, a little bit about me. Uh, I'm originally from the States, uh, Boston, East Coast, what up? Um, but I've been living in London with uh, my wife uh, for a year and a half. Shout out to Sophia, who has been holding down the fort with IT and operations. Love you, boo. Uh, but yeah, I guess to say that the last three and a half months have been crazy would be a huge understatement. <laughs> uh, in addition to a global pandemic, uh, the recent worldwide wake up to the plight of black people has really been the anxiety cherry on top of the shit Sunday that is the world right now. Um, and so I think with everything happening, it's been even more difficult given the fact that I'm here in the UK while my family's in the States. Uh, so just been feeling really, anxious, helpless, triggered um, emotions that I think a lot of people uh, can relate to. Uh, and so I, I think having a lot of conversations as well with you know my family, my wife, um, Black people in my community, it's just been really interesting to kind of really look back and unpack all how system oppression and racism has really impacted our lives from, you know, the day that we were born. So yeah, when Matilda reached out and was like, I want to do something to support the cause, I was like, yeah, let's do something. Um, and the rest, as they say, is kind of history. Um, it's just, I mean, when we first thought about Breathe, we could not have imagined that it would have come to this. Um, so it's just been really beautiful uh, to see how people are just coming together, people are donating, people wanted to participate. Uh, so yeah, it's it's been fantastic. Um, and Matilda is actually going to tell you a bit more about the organizations that we are looking to support during the event. Yeah, um, so first off, obviously, I just want to give Whitney a huge, massive thanks for um, pretty much organizing all the performers um, that are going to be here tonight. Um, she has the most amazing network, and honestly, this, this could not have happened without her at all. Um, but basically, um, the idea came about because... Um, we obviously were all seeing what was happening um, in the States, but also in, in France and in the UK and other um, Western countries around the world. And it just felt so wrong to not um, be doing something concrete other than just the sort of social, you know, reposting on Instagram and everything. Um, so I, I basically came up with the idea of a, of, a, of a fundraiser and Whitney came up with the idea of organizing this amazing events um, and the the organizations that we decided to support there's two of them um, the first one is campaign zero um, so it's an American police reform campaign um, that has been created by activists on a website that was launched um, on August 21st 2015 um, the plan consists of essentially 10 proposals um, and all of them are aimed at reducing police violence in the states 
Um, the other organization that we wanted to um, donate to is called Justice for Adama, uh, Justice for Adama in um, English. Um, but basically, uh, this organization um, specifically works to help with the family of a black man that was killed by police in France, um, because they've been um, they've been doing a lot of um, a lot of legal work. They've been um, going to courts a lot, and that that's just um, incurred huge huge amounts of expenses uh, for the family just to be able to get justice um, for, for Adama. So um, the funds that they're collecting go towards helping um, the family, but also um, helping Essa, who's um, Adama's sister, um, doing her activist work in France um, towards reducing police violence, but also shedding light um, on, on the actual violence that happens mm -hmm. in France every day and that is not really talked about. Great. And I actually, we're just going to take a quick pause. I'm so sorry about the link issue. We are going to push out the link that should be working live. So just bear with us, those that are on right now. Uh, and we will get that link, fix out some kinks and be right back. So bear with us. Hi guys, thank you for bearing with us. Uh, this is what happens when you put on your own event. <laughs> so for <laughs> you to do the same, yes, you can. 
holla at me. Uh, but really quickly, for those that are just joining, uh, yeah, Breathe was really uh, the brainchild of me and my co-organizer, Matilde. We really just wanted to do something um, to help raise visibility against all the police brutality and racism. Um, we are, all of the proceeds um, that we raised are going to Justice for Adama, um, as well as Campaign Zero, which is an uh, American nonprofit organization. Justice for Adama is actually a fundraiser um, for a, a French young gentleman that was killed several years back by the French police um, and his family is still fighting for justice. Uh, so far, we've raised 1,518 pounds, which is insane. For those that know me, when we first started, I didn't think we'd get this far. And we initially had a goal of 1,000, and then we had to bump it up to 2,000 because we hit that goal fairly quickly. Um, and it seems like we're hitting the next goal. So um, thank you to all that have already donated and gotten us this far. We're still gonna be accepting donations through tonight um, as well as the end of the week. Uh, Matilda and I both have the GoFundMe links in our bios and we'll also be paying it out to all our friends and family. Um, before we get into the meat of it, also a friendly mind reminder that everyone that donates 50 or more um, is in for an amazing raffle from two of our very talented friends, Sarah Tui Fee uh, and Haley Richardson. They both created Black Lives Matter themed and breathe themed uh, visual prints for us. So uh, definitely exciting, exciting. So without further ado, let's get to the performers. Uh, first up, is an activist, a mental health advocate, low-key fashion and lifestyle influencer, uh, my makeup guru, that's why I'm on fleek. Uh, and oh yeah, also my sister. <laughs> um, although Courtney is younger, I am constantly inspired and blown away um, by her bravery and willingness to speak up and speak out against injustice of all kinds. Um, so I'm super thrilled to have her here. I'm really excited to have her kick it off um, reading uh, one of her favorite poems from a prolific writer, Langston Hughes, which is um, very timely and relevant now. So yeah, Court, looking forward to you blowing the crowd away. Thank you for such a nice. Thank you, Whitney, for that introduction. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be reading Let America Be America Again by Langston Hughes. And for those of you who don't know who he is, which would be surprising if you didn't, but he is a poet, a novelist, a fiction writer, and a playwright. And he's known for his insightful portrayals of Black life in America. Um, and he's known for artistic contributions of the Harlem Renaissance. So here we go. Let America Be America Again. Let it be the dream it used to be. Let it be the pioneer on the plane, seeking a home where he himself is free. America was never America to me. Let America be the dream the dreamers dreamed. Let it be the great strong land of love where never kings connive nor tyrants scheme that any man be crushed by one above. It was never America to me. Oh, let my land be a land where liberty is crowned with no false patriotic grief, but opportunity is real and life is free. Equality is in the air we breathe. There's never been equality for me, nor freedom in this homeland of the free. Say, who are you that mumbles in the dark? And who are you that draws your veil across the stars? I am the poor white fooled and pushed apart. I am the Negro bearing slavery's scars. I am the red man driven from the land. I am the immigrant clutching the hope I seek and finding the only same old stupid plan of dog eat dog of mighty crush the weak. I am the young man full of strength and hope, tangled in the ancient endless chain of profit, power, gain, of grab the land, of grab the gold, of grab the ways of satisfying need, of the work of men, of take the pay, of owning everything for one's own greed. I am the farmer, bondsman to the soil. I am the worker, soul to the machine. I am the Negro, servant to you all. I am the people, humble, hungry, mean, hungry yet today despite the dream. Beaten yet today, oh pioneers, I'm the man who never got ahead, the poorest worker, bartered through the years. Yet I'm the one who dreamt our basic dream in the old world while still a surf of kings, who dreamt a dream so strong, so brave, so true, that even yet its mighty daring sings. And every brick and stone and every furrow turned, that's made America the land it has become. 
Oh, I'm the man who sailed those early seas in search of what I meant to be my home. For I'm the one who left the dark island shore in Poland's plain in England's grassy lee. And torn from black Africa's strand, I came to build a homeland of the free. The free? Who said the free? Not me. Surely not me. The millions on relief today? The millions shot down when we strike? The millions who have nothing for our pay? For all the dreams we've dreamed, and all the songs we've sung, and all the hopes we've held, and all the flags we've hung. The millions who have nothing for our pay, except the dream that's almost dead today. Oh, let America be America again, the land that has never been yet, and yet must be the land where every man is free. And that land's that's mine, the poor man's, Indians, Negroes, me, who made America, whose sweat and blood, whose faith and pain, whose hand at the foundry, whose plow in the rain, must bring back our mighty dream again. Sure, call me an ugly name you choose, the steel of freedom does not stain. From those who live like leeches on the people's lives, we must take back our land again, America. Oh yes, I say it plain, America never was America to me, yet I swear this oath, America will be. Out of the rack and ruin of our gangster's death, the rape and rot of graft and stealth and lies, we the people must redeem. The land, the mines, the plants, the rivers, the mountains and the endless plain, all, all the stretch of these great green states and make America, America again. Oh, Courtney, thank you so much. Um, that was incredibly powerful. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank um, you. <laughs> uh, and so next up, we have another talented young woman um, hailing from the East Coast, good old Boston. Uh, Yana is an incredibly talented visual artist and YouTuber from Boston. Uh, and we're so excited because she actually created a piece just for Breathe, and she's going to debut it tonight. Uh, so, and it's in support of Black Lives Matter. So we're really, really excited to have Yana here and super excited to see your piece. So Yana, can't wait to see. Thank you so much for that introduction and thank you for everyone participating. Um, you guys have been awesome and I'm really excited to be part of this event. And thank you to everyone that donated. And if you haven't, it is not too late. You can still donate. So I did a painting just for this event and I haven't done an unveiling like this before. I've never like veiled up a piece of my artwork. So this is my first ever unveiling. Um, and it's in support of Pride and Black Lives Matter, especially with today being the last day of Pride Month. So if you have any guess of what it might be, throw that in the chat now. I'm curious if anyone will guess before I unveil it. Um, okay, without further ado, here it is. So I don't know if it shows up sideways, I mean backwards with the wording, because um, of like- the Gosh. <laughs> so I hope that you guys can recognize who this is. And for those- Marsha? Yes. 
This is Marsha P. Johnson, and the P stands for Pay It No Mind, which was her response when people questioned her gender. She was a transgender, um, gay rights, and trans right social activist. She is the reason that gay rights exist, basically. She was born on August 24th, 1945, and she dressed, she started dressing in drag in high school, and it was actually against the law in New York to dress in drag in the 60s. So she was arrested several times and just for being herself, which is like so messed up. So, you know, her and Sylvia Rivera fought tirelessly for gay rights and for trans rights. And they were met with a lot of hatred as most trans women are in America, especially black trans women. And a part of that is because she helped people get more gay rights, but then after they just forgot about the trans um, gender women that made this possible. So she was very overlooked and misunderstood, misgendered. She was attacked brutally several times. She actually was being harassed and hunted by the mafia in New York, which were very against transgender women. And so basically she was a force in the original gay liberation front and Stonewall riots. Gay pride that we have today is pride, but back then it was riots. Kind of similarly to what we have for Black Lives Matter riots going on right now, I hope that within our lifetime, those will turn into pride events as opposed to just riots. But that's why we need to riot now as Marsha did. And the, um, so basically she was murdered and they called it a suicide as they do with all of these lynchings that are going on that no one wants to call what it is, murder. And it was dismissed because she was a black trans woman and she never got justice. They never found out who exactly murdered her, held anyone accountable. At the very least, everyone like that kind of like was in her family and network and everything like that believes that she was being hunted down. And then maybe that's what made her fall off into the Hudson River where, where she, she had died. died. Um, so, so at the very least, she was definitely being followed and there's, there's been, been several people that said the mafia were after her that night specifically. And, and they, they just marked the suicide, suicide because it's easier and because they, they don't care. So, so I did this piece for Marsha and I watched a Netflix film that they have about her death and her life, which I recommend everyone watches it's on Netflix. And it was just, um, a very emotional piece and I don't know I just really think that she deserves more recognition for all that she's done for gay rights and for trans black trans rights black trans rights black people black women everyone should know her name and know her face and know her story and say her name as we should for Breonna Taylor who was murdered by police that still need to be arrested so these things are also relative she was murdered on July 6 1992 and there's, there's a Malcolm X quote. It says, the most disrespected, unprotected, and neglected person in America is the Black woman. And I think that today, and probably then, but you didn't realize, it's the Black trans woman. And we all need to do our part to protect Black trans women, to protect trans people, gay people, people of color, anyone that is marginalized, we all need to do everything. So this is more than a painting, it's a call to action to actively support Black trans, trans women in your life every day. day. Um, so, so I did take some, I did some symbolism within the artwork. So if you notice, she has red, white, and blue um, colored flowers that was, you know, to mirror America because this is America. What happened to Marsha is America. And this is an American problem that needs Americans and everyone, shout out to everyone overseas helping out. So, I also wanted to add fabric because fashion and clothing was so important to her as that was how she expressed herself. So this is done on denim and these flowers, I spent like 10 hours, I have way more that I didn't use, but um, cutting out flowers from repurposed clothing. So everything is like repurposed here as well as this right here. And I did resist in white because white is a color of hope, which is what we all need to have and I did it going upwards because we all need to rise up and stand up against injustices, especially towards black trans women. 
So this is my piece. I wanted to take questions. If anyone has any questions, um, I would love to answer them for you. And I hope that you guys enjoy this, this piece right here. So is there any questions um, in the chat or if any one of the participants want to unmute themselves and ask anything, feel free. Um, just jumping in, Yana, thank you so much for the absolutely beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, and thank you so much for sharing um, the story of Marsha P. Johnson, because I think it's one that unfortunately hasn't been told, but uh, kind of as the narrative goes when it comes to Black, queer, trans, um, any other marginalized groups, it's, it's, it's really hard pressed to find those stories. Um, except now, it seems as though this space and um, around the world, people are starting to tell more of those stories. So we really appreciate it. I know we're looking at the comments and a lot of people are thanking you for sharing the story. Um, if people have more questions for Yana, again, we're gonna drop the handles for all of the performers so you can reach out. Um, but I think we're going to take a quick pause and and then head into our next act. Thank you so much. Oh God, I, I mean, I think you all can agree. Uh, Yana is super, super talented and I can't wait to see more from um, this powerful, super talented Black Girl Magic. Um, and speaking of Black Girl Magic, our next artist is another young woman from Boston. Can you tell we have a theme here? Boston rocks. Um, uh, but uh, Alyssa is a talented poet. Uh, in addition to writing incredibly moving poetry, she also hosts her own podcast called Real Shit, exactly what we need right now. Um, and she also runs a photojournalism brand called Faces of Mary Jane uh, that sheds light on all the different people who use uh, cannabis for medicinal and recreational purposes. Uh, super excited to have you guys hear uh, Alyssa's powerful words. Uh, so with that, I will turn it over to Alyssa. Listen. All right, thank you for that introduction. Um, today I will be performing a poem called To Be Black. Um, I wrote this about a year ago, um, but was never confident about it until recently and more so I feel as though it's just necessary. Um, so with the power and support I've had with friends uh, with this poem, um, I feel strong in performing it to you guys today and I hope that it resonates with unfortunate situations that are happening currently. So to be black. To be black is to be human, present, accountable and accounted for to be bold, brave, and beautiful. Being black is to be alive, because they're looking at us as if we aren't breathing oppression. The very oxygen we have being pressed out of the very bodies they beat, to gasp the air they said we were lucky to even breathe. No, nothing is free. Does it matter that our roots are embedded in the soil we all walk upon? Our roots go deeper than the trees reach further than the leaves. Damn, our roots can be found within any body you see. Black people are the reason you breathe. Oh, but we are alive. The black shadow that they tried to hide. 
has, um, has learned to unveil itself even in the darkest of time. When locked away to constantly live in that of night, you learn what it means to be your own light. We are shooting stars, constellations, fireflies. We are goddamn streetlight because even when the world kicked us out, we always knew when it was time to come home for our roots run deep, vibrate beneath our very feet. Can you hear it? Our very heartbeat, the sound of bare feet running for freedom, for life. It is that of a drum, that of a trail, that of a fight for life. Oh, to be black, to be black is to breathe, to be black is to be free. Oh, to be black, to be black is to breathe. Thank you guys. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know about everyone else, but Alyssa's poem just gave me such chills. Uh, this, yeah, this night is just amazing and it's only gonna get better um, because our next group um, are the uh, Badebo sisters um, consisting of Tumi, Deji and Yemi. Uh, so these are three talented sisters based in North London um, performing together as a trio publicly for the first time. Guys, you are in for such a treat. Um, they will be singing Elastic Heart by Sia. Um, so without further ado, I will pass it off to these lovely ladies. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks for that introduction, Whitney. And thank you, Whitney and Matilda, for asking us to be a part of this. This has been such a great experience for us. And like you said, this is the first time we're probably performing publicly as a trio, so thank you for doing that. Um, <laughs> so we have chosen to sing Elastic Heart by Sia. We all love Sia because she's such a raw and honest performer and her lyrics are so true. Um, but of recent, this song has taken a new meaning for us um, because it, it resonates in such a strong way about this idea that, you know, hatred can persist, but our determination to fight for peace is just as strong, if not more strong than ever. So this is our version of Elastic Heart. I hope you guys enjoy it. <clears throat> Another one bites the dust But why can we not conquer love? And I might have thought that we were one Wanted to fight this war with our weapons And I wanted it, I wanted it back Now another one bites the dust. Yeah, let's be clear, I trust no one. I'm still fighting for peace. Well, I've got a thick skin and an elastic heart. Children of my feet are shot. I'm like a rubber band until you pull the tree. Close my eyes, eyes. Oh. and I 
y'all holy shit they were so good oh my god literally my face is like split right now um but yeah instead of you know going on and on and on uh our next artist um is a group called uh black palms really excited to have them um actually they recorded something because it's a band but it's gonna be great um they were formed in 2017 uh by singer brianni mckennis and guitarist chris sarantis with the intention of bringing back tunes to rock and roll Hell yeah. Uh, after their debut EP, they tur uh, turned to Ash. It dropped in 18. They secured the services of Gaët Allard, a French, uh, a fine Frenchman from Paris uh, who was already established on the international music scene. Um, and they're now working on their debut LP as a trio. So without further ado, uh, give it up, snaps, clap, whatever you're doing at your house um, for Black Palms. we 
the guiding light, dim to the light, your soul. Walk in those shoes, take them for a mile, you will feel the truth untold. Supposed to be seems strange to me. Hey, hey guys. Hey everyone. Hi. We're Black Palms. Uh, we're so happy to be able to contribute to this open mic. Hopefully events like this will raise awareness to the systemic racism that our culture and society still support. So we're going to play some songs um, and I hope you enjoy.
brilliant. I mean, everyone that has performed so far has been giving me chills, but um, I, we have such a, an amazing pool of talented people right now, um, and we're not done. So next up, we have Declan, uh, winner of literally the biggest smile I have ever seen. Um, so he comes all the way from Down Under, and he's settled in the UK, and he's got an infectious joy that shines through his music. Um, he will be singing some groovy tunes for us, so your time to shine, Declan. Settle in the UK, and he's got an infectious joy. Hello, hello, hello. I had the uh, the Facebook Live uh, going, so I had this double delay going on. <laughs> thank you so much for having me, Matilde. Thank you so much for that that wonderful intro. That was <laughs> so kind of you. Um, seriously, thank you so much for having me. Um, I've been I've been wanting to to find a way to bring light to this situation that's happening right now and taken so much time to just stop and try and understand what's happening. And, and I feel really, really honored to, to be part of this so I can push this voice further and get this message out there um, that we need change. Um, so I wanted to start with a song by one of my favorite, favorite, favorite artists. Um, arguably one of the best that's, that we've ever had. And um, I used to live in Paris a few years ago and um, I used to busk in the metro. And uh, this song seemed to stop most people. Um, and I think it's a testament to how beautiful this man is. <clears throat> Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Less than one in it all. I never thought love would be making one as lovely as she. Isn't she lovely? Made from love. Isn't she pretty? Truly the angel's best. Boy, I'm so happy. We have been heaven blessed. And only it could have not been done without you. See, go on. Isn't she lovely? From the so don't say that Made from love, isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Ooh, less than a minute old. I can't believe God has done. To us, give an eye to this little tiny baby one. Isn't she lovely? Oh, so lovely. Yeah. Isn't she lovely? Made from love. Yay, got some virtual claps coming through here on Zoom. I want to send a massive shout out to um, Whitney Matilde and Aaron, who is the man behind the, 
behind the scene right now. No one can see this man right now, but you will in a second. Um, he's doing all of the tech and I can't see a sweat being broken yet, but I would be breaking a serious sweat. Um, and Whitney and Mathilde for organizing such an amazing event. This is already, if I'm looking right now, we're over, we're over the two grand mark. That's amazing. <laughs> Was it 2,193? So guys, those of you that are listening, a few of you have just tuned in. If you haven't donated and you have some spare cash, please, please, please do so. These are, these are causes that can't be stressed enough. Please do it. Um, we're just here to facilitate that going up and up and up and up. And I thank you again for including me. Um, I'm going to do one of my own songs. Uh, it's just a bit of fun. It's just a bit of fun. My name is Declan Carrier. I write pop music and play pop music. And I love pop music. Uh, this song's called Control. Um, it's just about letting go. Feeling up tight. No one could show me a good time tonight. I wanna take a flight. So through this madness they call life. I'm feeling ooh, ooh, think I found it. I'm feeling oh no, ooh, ooh. got me feeling like myself from you baby say now i want to lose control give me your body your mind and your soul i've been here waiting all night just to say you make me feel this way oh no 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 Treating life like it's something to fear. I'm more serious than I was last year. But I'm learning to let go and live life out fresco, baby. <laughs> I'm back. I'm feeling ooh, ooh, I think I found it. Gonna feel it ooh, ooh, oh, no, no. I'm feeling like it. Keep myself from you. Sexy, sexy lady. I said, now I want to lose control. Give me your body, your body, and your soul. Oh, and I've been here waiting all night just to say that you're making me feel this way. Oh, and I've been lost away in my heart far too long. And I've been so open up to me, baby. I hide. Do, 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 do. Ooh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you so much for having me guys. I'm going to leave it there. Um, 
Thank you, Whitney. Thank you, Mathilde. Thank you, Aaron. Guys that are sitting there on the, all over the world, please donate. This is seriously important. And um, I'll see you guys later. Aaron, if you want to change me over. <laughs> Thank you. jazz and I think he's about to take us on a trip so let's go Aaron thank you all hello everybody um wait where am I there I am hi guys um thanks so much for having me and um yeah I, I hope I, I'm not very good at introductions so here, here's my music. Um, I hope you guys, you guys enjoy.
Thank you so much, guys, for having me. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, that was the first time I've ever played my music uh, quote unquote live, so um, I hope it went well and sounded good. Uh, but back to everyone else.
chat. Um, I love this kind of music. Aaron is the best. So thanks so much for this, Aaron. Um, next up, we have the legend, the one and only, legit wit. I don't even need to introduce her. So Whitney, just just go, make us dream. <laughs> Hello again, guys. Um, thought I would sing uh, Hallelujah by Jeff Buckley. I don't know, whenever I hear this song, I, I feel very moved. So um, it just felt like it fit. So here it goes. Well, I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall in the major lift, the baffled king composing, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Well, your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof, her beauty and the moonlight overthrew ya. She tied you to her kitchen chair. She broke your throne and she cut your hair. And from your lips she drew the hallelujah. 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 Well, maybe there's a God above, but all I've ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who outdrew ya. And it's not a cry that you hear at night. It's not somebody who's seen the light. It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. 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 Hi, everyone. Oh, hello. I don't know if we can be heard. I'm going to say yes. 
Not yet. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Okay, so I think we are going to cut you harmonies um and their thing is that they basically create the sound equivalent of a warm hug now i don't know about you guys but i've definitely been in need of those lately so your turn <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi. Yeah. We're Barnacles. That Sorry. was my line. That was your line. <laughs> okay. This is called I'm in Love. I can see you like a version of you you are perfect in every way golden with no extra version pollution or dirt to make your lovely way
dance all our ways. This is, uh, Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I keep getting uh, my headphones coming in and out, which is That's really fun. Yeah, my headphones <laughs> keep coming in and out as well. Is it, uh, do they all keep coming in and out? I think, I think it's because no, your, your, your thing was caught on that and it was pulling it. But I think it's okay, okay. now. Okay. Right, tech help. support. Okay. Mm, let's do something very different now. Okay. You ready? Yes. Cool.
sweet. Thanks so much, Barnacle. That was really nice. Um, so we're somehow getting to the end of this event, which I know you're all as sad as I am. Uh, where has the time gone? Um, but I can't think of anyone better to close it than Minnie. So she breathes life into every melody she plays. And honestly, she sounded so great during the rehearsal. So I'm really excited for this. Let's finish on the high. Hi guys, I'm Minnie Jones. Thanks so much to Whitney and Mathilde for having me and Aaron for helping figure out all the tech and stuff that always makes my brain explode. This is such a wonderful cause, so I'm so happy to be a part of it. Um, just a little bit of what I, about what I do, in case you're like, what is she doing? So I do live looping, so I'll build up kind of a beat, a beat, some keys, some vocals and stuff, and then I do a song. So I'm gonna do a couple for you guys. This first one's a cover. You might be able to guess what it is before I start singing, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so here we go.
right, guys. Apparently, we had some technical issues. Um, gotta love the world of live streaming. There's always something, um, especially when you've got so many cables. If you can't see it on the floor, it's kind of a mess. So we should start again, and hopefully, it works this time. And if not, then well, you know. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Stop that. So again, just gonna build up some layers for you guys. Hopefully the sound gods are with me on this. I 
wish I was special. Hopefully that worked. I don't know. I can't really tell. But um, yeah, my name's Minnie Jones. And uh, I think that worked. Um, if uh, we've got time for one more quick one, I could do one more for you guys. Um, this one's much more mellow, so hopefully you won't overload any sound systems. It is my latest single, Six Feet. And thanks so much to everyone who's donated. I can't believe we passed that awesome goal. You guys are amazing. Anyone who hasn't donated, please do. It's a wonderful cause. All right, one more for you guys. It's called Six Feet. It's a bit of zen for you. Nice and relaxing. So um, hope you guys like it. build up the background level for you guys. Hmm, my dog is in here causing a ruckus. <laughs> Lauren, stop it. As we go 
Thank you guys so much. Hopefully that came through okay. And thanks again to Whitney and Mattel for helping me and everyone for watching and donating. Aaron for running everything. And yeah, Minnie Jones. See you guys. Oh, guys, uh, dude, it's been an amazing yeah. night. Um, before we wrap things up, we just wanted to bring back Yana, the incredible visual artist. Uh, there were a couple of questions that came through um, and Yana wants to talk uh, just briefly about uh, how to uh, bid for her beautiful painting. So I will pass it back to Yana. Hi guys, um, so I'm just back really quick because since the painting was so well received, I forgot to mention this before, I would actually like to put this up for all. Okay, sorry about that little technical difficulty. So I am putting the painting up for auction. So here it is, and I'm just gonna kind of like put it up close while I talk so you can look at more of the detail work really quick. Maybe if I do it over here, it'll look better. Um, so basically I wanted to put this up for auction and this is a, I'm so bad at holding this in my phone. I'm just gonna read this really quick off my phone and hold it back up. So I wanted to put this up for auction and I wanted to start the bidding at $200. I did spend 18 hours on this. So, you know, I thought we could start there. And basically I wanted, whatever the donation is, the only thing I'm gonna take from that is the shipping price. If you don't live in New England, otherwise I'll drive it to you. The rest of it is all going to be going to Black Visions Collective, which aims to organize black communities and dismantle systems of violence while centering queer and trans people. So all of the proceeds besides shipping will go there. And this is some more detailed work of it. Um, so please contact me. My Instagram is Yana's underscore art studio. And if you would like to put in a bid, just please don't hesitate to reach me. It's like incredibly hard to hold up the painting while looking at my phone, there we go. So I had a couple of questions that were asked about the artwork. So I'm just gonna pull those up really quickly. So one question was, which BAME artist inspires you? And I never even heard that word before. I guess it's like British, um, British talking, uh, I can't even think of the word, you know, British diction, but I found some artists that are some of my favorite black artists that definitely inspire me. So we have Joy right here, my girl Joy. She published an 
a poet, not poetry, sorry, she published a children's illustrated book, which she also wrote. And I actually just bought it. It's called Calvin's Dreams. And I will be posting a video about it on my YouTube channel. Then Art by Perla, um, one of my friends, she's an incredible artist. She posts a lot of things about trans lives and she, her artwork really inspired me because I didn't really make artwork about trans people before this, but she does a lot of that. It really is inspiring. Nicholas Smith, you guys might know him. He uh, really took off lately with his portraits. He's a great inspiration. And then we have my friend Erica. She is so talented, Boston local, just incredible artwork. So definitely follow her. And then Jordan Christopher is a Boston photographer. I love his work. It's really, he has this, his Instagram, then he has strangers in Boston and it's all very political, great, amazing photography that inspires me. Then Solange, the artist, you guys know Solange. She really just inspires me with her music and Janelle Monet, amazing person. And then Myth, Mitsuka is someone who does a lot of chalk murals around Boston um, about Black Lives Matter that inspires me. The other question I had, um, what is the hardest part? What was the hardest part of painting this or doing this? I would say it was just kind of delving further into Marsha's story because I knew a lot of details, but like hearing, I watched that film and hearing like the loved ones of her mourn over her was just very hard for me. And how, this is the last question, how I got the idea of the painting, what inspired it. So my friend Megan knows that I had been cutting out these flowers like three weeks ago. I knew I would be doing something on this denim canvas. I knew I was gonna be using these flowers. And when I found out about, I'm trying to remember who it was specifically, it was a black man that was killed. Um, there's been so many that unfortunately, I don't even remember which specific death it was, but I felt really stuck. So I just spent the day cutting out flowers because that was my art therapy for that day and it helped. And I wanted to do American colors for that reason. So I knew I wanted to use the flowers. I was originally gonna do a painting of th actually this way of three different trans people that have passed recently. And then I thought, and then unfortunately the list just keeps getting longer and longer. So I thought I would do Marsha because she symbolizes trans people for everyone. Um, and I just think that she needs her story, everything she's done needs to be acknowledged more. So that's what inspired me. And once I got invited to breathe, I don't work unless I have a deadline. Well, I do, but it's very hard for me. So it was a great like deadline and like really pushed me to like figure out what I wanna put on this canvas and everything. So that was what inspired me. I'm just gonna give a few more seconds to show you guys closer up. I'm gonna move my camera so you can like really see some detail work. Um, so thank you so much. If you enjoyed this, please follow my Instagram. My YouTube is expressively Yana Marie. I will be posting a video about this painting and the auction is live now. It'll probably end on the 4th of July because this is like kind of 4th of July themed. And I know there's some 4th of July protests in Boston. I love the idea of people bringing my artwork to protests. So even if you want to donate and then like, if you wanted to auction for it, but then also like donate it to someone to bring to a protest, that would be incredible too. So just let me know. Also what inspires me is just creating artwork that can be in protest and kind of be part of history since I'm not really able to go to protests right now, uh, living with people that are high risk. So yeah, thank you so much guys for doing Breathe. It's been incredible. And thank you everyone for tuning in and donating. Guys, that's a wrap. <laughs> um, holy crap, uh, two hours went by so quickly. Uh, thank you all again so much for joining us. I mean, 
It's been an amazing evening. I don't even have enough words to express how excited, grateful, thrilled, relieved uh, we all are. Um, but before we sign off, uh, we just want to take a second to thank all of the incredible performers. Guys, really without you, this wouldn't have happened. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, you truly made this evening so special. Um, to add to the list of adjectives that Winnie just said, I also feel extremely tired from this. This was so overwhelming in so many ways. Um, and from you know the us getting the idea of doing this to where we, we are at now, um, it's been process and yeah I think I'll be I'll be having a great sleep tonight um, but we also wanted to um, say a huge thank you to all the people who have donated and have got us to let me refresh yeah 2,458 pounds guys like that's insane when we first um, set this up we didn't even think we would get 10 pounds like I am honestly like my mind is blown by you guys generally and all the people who have donated and all the people who have been tuning in tonight like that I, I genuinely didn't think we would get like five people on tonight like this is just ridiculous so thank you so so much thank you awesome and then before we sign off I just want to give a huge huge shout out to the folks that made this event happen uh firstly Thank you so much to the incredibly talented Damien Boudot. I think him and his also equally talented uh, partner Constance are on the live right now. Without them, we wouldn't have this amazing graphic which really set the tone for the event. So thank you so much. Um, huge kudos to Aaron Richardson who not only soothed you with his lo-fi chill hop grooves, he also made sure that this live stream happened. So I am, honestly, there are not enough words to thank this man. Uh, he, amazing. So thank you, Aaron. Um, and of course, thank you to the wonderful um, friends and supporters that we have who donated their incredible prints. Sarah Tufi, uh, Tuifi, uh, her hand, uh, her Instagram handle is at Ghost by Sarah. She donated an amazing Black Lives matter uh, inspired ghost print um, and then the other half to the amazing duo that is Aaron Richardson um, Haley Richardson uh, created an incredible breathe print um, that is also being raffled off um, and her handle is at Kiwi and the Bear she has uh, an amazing Etsy shop with all great tie-dye, cool graphic prints. So yeah, super excited to have these folks uh, support and, and donate their, their incredible works of art. Um, but yeah, I mean, dang guys, thank you so much. Uh, I think, I mean, this is Breathe and just thank you all. Yeah, I keep saying thank you. So I'm gonna just let it, I'm gonna toss it back to Matilde to direct you guys to the GoFundMe link. Um, thank you. Just thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, so there's still time to, to donate. I think we'll have the link up for another four or five days um, yeah. until, yeah, until I think the 4th of July we said. Um, so yeah, the, the links are in both of our Instagram bios and also on the description of the Facebook event. So yeah, thanks so much again to all the folks who've already donated. Um, there will still be time and um, thank you again to everyone who's participated for making this happen. This is very overwhelming. So yeah, probably best to <laughs> leave on that high. <laughs>